Hey guys, it's really welcome back to my ch ch, -ch channel. Today I am eating the Impossible Whopper. <laughs> I am so excited. Um, the reason why I'm so excited is because I feel like this is gonna be so a Whopper, but like healthy version. Um, but not only am I trying the Impossible Whopper, I am comparing it to the regular Whopper. So Burger King has these options where you can do the taste test to see um, the difference. So I'm really curious. I feel like if they're doing this, they know there's not a huge difference. So um, I'd be curious to know what the calorie difference is though, or like the nutritional differences. Um, I'm sure this can't be amazingly healthy in the Impossible Burger. For people who don't know, it's like plant-based, processed to taste and have the same texture as meat. So how good could it be for you? But we're gonna find out. So let me unwrap these. I also have onion rings and fries and a fun Fanta, an orange Fanta. Oh, I hit my mic. Orange Fanta. Mm. Ah, that's good. Okay, so I'm drinking this from a um, just a cup, if you're wondering why I'm doing this. Because I'm trying to get more um, conscious when it comes to plastic straws. And I didn't feel like grabbing one of my middle straws, so I'm just doing that. So, mm, This is sriracha ketchup. I have this side. I also have sweet and sour sauce here. I love sweet and sour. All right. Let's get into this. Let's eat. How are you guys? Hope you guys are awesome. Let me know down in the comments how you're feeling. Okay, so this comes. This is the impossible one. It looks just like a regular hamburger. And look at all the... First of all, they put a lot of um, vegetables on it because they figure, I guess, people that like the impossible burger like veggies. Maybe we'll see if there's just as much on the Whopper. Um, but this is the impossible. It comes with tomato, which I don't like. So we're going to put that to the side. It comes with pickle, which I also don't like. So we're going to put that to the side. I tried to do like a special instruction. Onions. I tried to do a special instruction um, to not put these on here, but um, they wouldn't let me. So. I ordered through DoorDash. And then this looks just like that. No sauce. It's just a little bit of ketchup. I might end up dipping this. And then it looks like there's some mayo and stuff on here. So that's the Impossible Whopper. That looks great. My head's cut off. Ugh. I haven't filmed in a while, you guys. As you watch in my previous video, I talk about my vacation. I went on vacation. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to film as much as possible. Ooh. So this is the regular Whopper. This one actually seems more juicier, believe it or not. Um, I don't know, just same stuff on it. Tomatoes, onions, and pickles, which I'm going to take off. Oh, that's so much veggie that I just wasted. And then just nothing underneath again. I might have to put more ketchup on this because it was all on the veggies I just took off. Mm. Okay, so first I am going to try the Impossible. So it kind of looks flatter, you know, but it still looks like a Whopper. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So it does, it does taste like the burger. I actually like this a lot more. Not a lot more, but I'm actually enjoying this because 
It tastes like a burger, but like less thick. And that's what I sometimes hate about burgers is how thick they are. Wow. I'm impressed. That's actually enjoyable. If you didn't tell anyone that this was not a meat burger, like beef, they would not believe you. Like they would just, you would get away with it. Like you give it to someone and they'd be like, mm, this is a good hamburger. All right, let's try the regular Whopper. To me, these are like similar, like taste wise, there's not a huge difference. Let me try the impossible again. The texture is very similar. I mean, the texture is the only difference. The taste is similar. I have this more. This just set is more dry because it's beef. This one's easier too and feels less heavy. I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy, but wow. If you didn't tell anyone. And the texture is very slight. Who's texting me? But yeah, that is, this is good. Very good. This is a good alternative for someone like me. Who's trying not to eat as much red meat. But like, I love Burger King and all fast foods. That's the way to go. Like even once in a while, they you don't know, like. I don't eat red meat at all, but you'd like to say some burgers. I wouldn't recommend this to someone who gets like is a vegetarian who I know a lot of vegetarians who a lot of the reasons they went vegetarian was for like the ethical part but also because they don't really like the taste or texture of meat this has it so like this isn't giving me like portobello mushroom burger vibes this is like a Burger that is not beef, but is like beef. It's weird. I'm curious what the calorie difference is. Let me look that up.
This has 630, this has 660. I don't know, man. I guess the main reason you'd want to eat this is not to be healthy, but because you're trying not to eat meat. That's the only thing you can think of. It's like it feels lighter than a burger too, like than this one. Like it's not like sinking into my stomach. I love sweet and sour sauce. It's like my favorite dipping sauce. I never understand why I see in the supermarket. Sriracha, ketchup that's already mixed. It like blows my mind. Cause I feel like most people, well I do, I have sriracha and ketchup. Big things in my fridge all the time. And like, you don't want so much to try up the up all the time. Um, it's weird. <laughs> mm. I'm so hungry. If you couldn't tell. I haven't had Burger King in a bit either. It's good. Burger King came up from the depths. It was really high at one point when I was younger. And then it kind of like died. Cause I remember when I was younger, they went through like a bunch of different company owners, I think like, and one of them like drove it into the ground. And then they built Burger King up again. I don't think I'm making that story up. Like someone bought the company, a corporation. Probably not a person, like a company probably did. Just sucked out all the money. Didn't do any innovation or anything. I went down the dream. But they saved it. All right, let me take another bag of this. I want to taste this by itself. That's weird. I mean, I like it more because it's like not as like meaty. Oh my gosh.
I like that. It's 30 calories less, hey. You can save on 30 calories. I normally order chicken sandwiches anyways. So maybe if I did like crave a burger and I didn't really want that like super beefiness, I would go for that. But that's the moral of the story here. That was great, you guys. That was amazing. Um, so this was really cool trying the um, Impossible Burger. I highly recommend. I actually really liked it more than I thought it would. I thought it would like gross me out a little bit. It didn't at all, especially compared to the Whopper. Um, it tastes like a little better maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. <sighs> let me know if you have the um, uh, time, energy to try the Impossible Burger <laughs> and what you thought because your opinion matters because it really does I'm really curious actually watch everyone else hate it and I like loved it but yeah it was really good I would definitely eat it again I don't think it's not something that I would order 24 hours but if I didn't want a chicken sandwich one day and wanted a burger that was not super heavy then that's what i'd order <laughs> all right guys well thanks for hanging out with me don't forget to subscribe like like i said comment um and yeah subscribe and let me know what i should be eating next i have a ton of recommendations lined up you know the drill and i hope you guys like hanging out with me i'll see you in the next one bye